Many social issues can be solved through a creative collaboration between the nonprofit and the for-profit sector. As pastor of a faith community and executive director of outreach programs whose mission is to end homelessness and domestic violence, I sit in a unique seat between the haves and the have-nots and believe there is misunderstanding on both sides. I think both sides need better information so that we can pull on the same end of the rope and get very solvable problems actually solved. America's economy, the greatest and richest economy in the world, is built on a system of capitalism and free markets. Everything you experience in goods and services is a result of capitalism. Your home, your car, your clothes, your food, the data phone, the music on your playlist, the computer you are using to watch this video is all a result of someone who went into business to make money. And that incentive of wealth creation to improve their personal life, for them to personally prosper, it creates goods and services that we the community consume and enjoy and it creates commerce and an economy for many people in the process. For instance, the home I live in, in 1999, I paid $149,000 for. That $149,000 created multiple jobs and a micro-economy. The mortgage employees were paid. The contracting company and a full team of construction workers were paid. The material supply companies were paid. Its workers were paid. The manufacturing companies who make tools, siding, bricks, shingles, plumbing, electrical parts, concrete, carpet, appliances. They were all paid and their employees. Landscapers, the vehicles they drove to work in, the gas they spent getting there, it was all consumed and created a currency, money in motion, that generated wealth for many. So the $149,000 did not go into a house. It went into the pockets of men and women and families who did the work providing the goods and services who built the house. Bono, the lead singer of U2, a great humanitarian and philanthropist, recently said, that he has concluded that the best way to lift people out of poverty is through the vehicle of capitalism. I have spent a significant part of my life assisting those who are in the greatest need in our society, and I have drawn the same conclusion. Soup lines, clothing, closets, shelters, and these forms of charity have their place and are much needed, but it will not end homelessness. Economic empowerment is a critical component to eradicating poverty. So we need wealth creators and job creators to do their thing and to make a profit, to grow their businesses that will in turn generate economic opportunity for folks who want to jump on this ladder and climb from where they are to where they want to be. Now to the haves, to the capitalists, to the wealthy, I want you to realize that to whom much is given, much is required. And for you to conduct your business in a way that has a social consciousness, enlightened business, philanthropic capitalism, if you will, Make sure that you create ladders in your organization that reaches deep enough to give opportunity to those who need a second chance. Take risks. Employ felons. Employ those who need job training, those who have low skill sets but want to grow and become. There are many of those out there, not everybody, but many who will maximize a bona fide opportunity. This is what our faith organization, Inspire Outreach, does. We partner with for-profit companies like a clothing drive organization that has created an income stream for us to run our program and has, more importantly, created 100 entry-level jobs for our folks coming from homelessness and domestic violence. You see, the for-profit guys do the business side better than we do. Us non-profit guys know how to support the life issues of this population so they can get on their feet. That's what we do well. So to those of you who receive a call from us, you get an email. You get a pink or orange donation bag on your garage door. Know that not only are you providing clothing for the folks in our program, but you're doing much more. You're giving them a residence, a job, education, counseling, health programming, drug alcohol recovery, goal setting, career readiness, financial literacy, and much more. And what is the cost to you? Some gently used clothing that you're not using anymore. Perhaps the mild inconvenience of an untimely call or a plastic bag on your garage door. It's a small price indeed to save lives, literally save lives. Inspire is also providing in-house training and career opportunities through digital print and design, commercial and residential moving, audio video installation, landscaping, and we want to launch many more small business ideas to move people forward and up that ladder with higher wages. Dr. King said that compassion is more than flinging a coin at a beggar, but it's actually addressing the construct that created the beggar in the first place. This fusion of for-profit and non-profit is the wave of the future. We are on that cutting edge. Thank you for taking the time to watch this, and thank you for your support.